According to the World Health Organization, about 700,000 people die annually due to suicide. The WHO says suicide is the fourth leading cause of death among those between the ages of 15 and 29 years. And 77% of global suicides occur in low- and middle-income countries. 21-year-old Clonepo Fredericks has had two attempts at suicide, and her scars are evident. She says her low marks at school triggered her depression and suicidal thoughts. My marks dropped, and then grade 10, that's when I started being really depressed because I was like, okay, I'm struggling with this one subject so, and now it's making all the other subjects difficult for me because I can't really focus and my marks are dropping. And then it triggered all the other, uh, all the other things like my childhood where my parents divorced. The first year electrical engineering student says therapy saved her. Ended up going to a psychiatric hospital and that's where they helped me. Well, us being there, it's not just like a normal hospital where you're on a drip. All you do is go to the toilet and go back to bed again. It was a place where there were um, activities like group therapy sessions, where we'd also do like activities with paint. The South African Depression and Anxiety Group, SEDEC, says they are doing their best to assist suicidal young people. There aren't enough spaces and aren't enough resources in that manner. But I do think the more that we have these conversations, the more that we're changing this narrative, right, the more awareness we create, we are definitely going to start changing that narrative in a big way and say that we need these resources. We need spaces where teens can go when they are struggling, when you have to refer them, when you know, they need that more um, um, treatment that's more holistic. Gordon says teenage boys tend to bottle up their emotions and phrases such as boys don't cry are not assisting the cause as teenage boys are more likely to die by suicide than girls. But that speaks to that, right? It speaks to the fact that Females tend to talk a lot more, right? If a girl is feeling sad, what's going to happen? She's going to talk to her friend, she's going to talk to her mom, she's going to talk to her older sister or aunt. Whereas boys might not feel like they're allowed to have these conversations. They might feel like, oh, you know what? I'm feeling down and I'm feeling low, but I need to deal with this. I need to keep it in because I have to be strong. Fredericks is now passionate about assisting those who are feeling depressed and suicidal. There's a few people around me that are close to me that are also suicidal. So me telling them that, okay, this is not worth it. I even show them my scores that, okay, look at my scores. I tried doing it. I failed. So it's not worth it. I just like motivate them to do better or tell them to, okay, rather try some breathing exercises if you're suffering from anxiety. For professional assistance, those battling with anxiety and mental health are encouraged to contact the South African Depression and Anxiety Group on these numbers. Reginald Vidboy, SABC News, Kimberley.